Welcome to the San Diego Humane Society's Small Animal Training. We will be covering all you need to know about rabbits, guinea pigs, and rats. Let's start with rabbits. Rabbits are sensitive and generally quiet pets. Their average lifespan is 8 to 10 years. Rabbits are clean animals who often groom themselves and prefer to use a litter box. While rabbits are social animals, they don't always make a great pet for young children as they can be startled by loud noises and sudden movements. If very frightened, a rabbit can have a heart attack and die. This is why it is important to watch for signs of stress such as rapid breathing when working with rabbits. The most important part of a rabbit's diet is Timothy hay. They must have fresh hay available to eat 24 hours a day. Hay is not only important for their digestion, but it also helps to file down their teeth. Rabbits should eat fresh leafy greens every day. Do not feed rabbits carrots or fruit. These should only be given as a rare special treat since they contain a lot of sugar. Rabbits will also get a half cup or less of pellets each day. Timothy pellets contain the proper nutrition for adult rabbits. Because rabbit teeth never stop growing, they will need wood or cardboard to chew on in addition to hay to help them file down their teeth. Rabbits are easy to litter box train as long as there is plenty of hay in or near the litter box. The litter box should be changed daily to keep their home nice and clean. Rabbits also need fresh water daily. This first video is one of our adoptable rabbits on the adoption floor during feeding time. This next video is one of our pet assisted therapy rabbits receiving some gentle petting before being picked up. Some facts about rabbits. Did you know that rabbits are not rodents? They are mammals and come from the Lagomorpha order. Rabbits originated in Europe and now there are 180 breeds worldwide. They can even come in 10 colors. After dogs and cats, rabbits are the third most popular pet in the United States and England. A group of rabbits is called a herd. Rabbits have a very delicate back and their light bones not only aid them in jumping but also squeezing into small spaces. Keep this in mind when handling rabbits. Always be very gentle with them. Happy rabbits will jump for joy flinging their legs and twisting midair. This is called a binky. Let's talk about guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are also sensitive and lovable animals that make great pets. They can live about four to five years and are very talkative. They make a variety of squeaks and squeals, which can mean they are happy, excited, or scared. They are very social and enjoy spending time with people. They also have different personalities and may enjoy toys, exploring, or cuddling. Most guinea pigs like to have a pig glue to hide in. They can make great pets for children as they enjoy interacting with people and are much more tolerant of being held than rabbits. Perhaps their cutest feature is that they come in many colors and hairstyles. Guinea pigs also must have 24 hour access to Timothy hay. Again, this is good for digestion and filing down their teeth. Guinea pigs also eat special Timothy hay pellets that include vitamin C. Vitamin C is very important for guinea pigs, so when providing fresh leafy greens daily, be sure to also include veggies or fruits high in vitamin C, like an orange slice. Fresh water daily is also important for guinea pigs, as it is for all animals. Unlike rabbits, guinea pigs are not good bathers and need to be bathed once a month. Their teeth also continuously grow, so they will need wood and cardboard to chew on. Some facts about guinea pigs. 
Unlike rabbits, guinea pigs are rodents. They originate from South America, specifically Peru and Bolivia. Guinea pigs that live in the wild will typically be a brown color to help them camouflage and they live in small groups called herds. Guinea pigs have good memory, smell, hearing, and touch, but very poor eyesight. The first were introduced as pets by European traders in the 16th century. One of the most interesting guinea pig facts is that unlike most baby mammals, they are born mobile, almost completely developed, and covered in fur. Like rabbits, guinea pigs will sometimes jump for joy. This is called popcorning. Let's talk about rats. Rats are curious and friendly pets. They have a short lifespan of only one to three years, but they don't let that get them down. Rats are intelligent and playful. They can even be trained to do tricks like spin in a circle, fetch, or walk on a tightrope. They like to stay clean and spend a lot of time redecorating their homes and grooming themselves. Rats can make great pets for most homes, including those with kids. They are happiest when they have another rat to spend time with. Rat pairs are often seen grooming, playing, and snuggling with one another. Rats are known as opportunistic omnivores, which means they'll eat pretty much anything. Pet rats should have a balanced diet that includes block pellets, seed and grain mixture, and limited amounts of veggies and other treats like Cheerios. Rats need fresh water, which can be given in a bowl or a water bottle. They are scavengers, so they enjoy getting treats in food puzzles like egg cartons or toilet paper rolls that they have to chew or rip open to access. Like rabbits and guinea pigs, their teeth are also constantly growing. Contrary to popular belief, rats are clean animals and prefer to use a litter box. Rats like to climb and explore, so a large cage with many levels is best, and no rat habitat is complete without a hammock. This first video shows some of our adoptable rats on the adoption floor during feeding time. And this second video will demonstrate how to offer a rat a treat. Some facts about rats. Like guinea pigs, rats are rodents. Pet rats are descendants of the Norway rat, and they are also known as fancy rats. While they have poor eyesight, rats have a great sense of smell and touch. Baby rats are called pups in the United States and kittens in Europe. A group of rats is called a pack, swarm, horde, or a mischief. And happy rats will sometimes grind their teeth. This is called bruxing. Rabbits, guinea pigs, and rats can't talk, so it's important to observe their body language and make them feel comfortable with you. These are prey animals, so they will often run away when it comes time to get them out of their cage. Even a very friendly animal may try to run or hide. Go slowly when interacting with these animals and use a soothing voice. Remember, they don't have the best eyesight, so approach them from the side and let them know you are there by petting them gently before picking them up. Rabbits can sometimes exhibit cage aggression, which is a territorial behavior. If a rabbit thumps, grunts, or lunges, give them space. If you are having trouble removing an animal from their cage, ask for help. Refer to your training for proper handling protocol. You may need to use a towel to pick up or calm a stressed animal. Make sure you are holding the animal securely when removing and returning them to their cage, as they may try to leap from your arms. Every interaction with an animal is an opportunity for training. Always feel free to grab some leafy greens or veggies to reward an animal for good behavior or to calm a stressed animal. 
please alert your staff partner if you notice an animal exhibiting any signs of illness. This may include lumps, bumps, or skin abrasions. No feces in the cage or litter box, indicating an animal is not eating or passing food. Diarrhea, head tilting, sneezing, and listlessness. Animals often try to hide stress and illness, so by the time you notice something, it may be a serious issue. Our medical team will examine the animal to determine what care is needed. Thank you for volunteering for our small animals. We look forward to working with you.